Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Attleboro High School hosted their second Blue Steam Ahead for middle school students on Tuesday. The event featured a number of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math related activities, and AACS was there to learn more. Tonight we have our annual Blue Steam event. Uh, it's district wide. We have a number of different participants here. We have invited the entire district to come and take part in the activities that are planned within uh, a number of rooms here at the Attleboro High School. It's really a, a great event. So of course, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, Mathematics. So we have an array of different, or a myriad of different events happening here. We've got the garden to my left. There's a scientific experiments happening all throughout the gym here. There's a green screen uh, out in, in one of the other areas. We've got uh, the elementary folks have GG. It's part of ST Math here. Uh, so just a number of different things going on. The CTE program's involved. It's great experience because all K through 12 schools are involved. I'm Scott Domenici. I'm Ward 6 School Committee. And it's early, but this is amazing. It is overwhelming here already. Um, there is so much more to do. My daughter is in the band. I'm excited to see that. Uh, I came last year with my sons and they just love the experience. Uh, so they'll, they'll be here shortly. There is just so much talent in this room and throughout the school. And it's great that the schools get to showcase it um, on a night like tonight. Not just the high school, but the middle school and the elementary school. The entire district is represented. Uh, it's a great time, a great place to bring your family in the tail end of winter and uh, I'm really excited already about how many people are here uh, with, with just so much to do uh, for the next couple of hours. Just a great way to exhibit what the schools are doing. So students get an opportunity to be part of the interactive experience here. There's all kinds of activities set up and it's really geared toward them and their families. So when we look at trying to get a, a, a deeper understanding of what STEAM is, they get to experience it firsthand. To my left here, we have the Willett School Garden. Right here, we also have, as I mentioned earlier, the green screen, which is our ELA teams, and we're using those in our schools. We have a camp invention here, so there's a, a real uh, layout of all the schools, but in particular at the Willett School, that's what we have uh, here in, at, this evening at the Steam Blue Steam Night. A night like this uh, is really beneficial. Attleboro High School is a comprehensive high school, a combination of academics and vocation. Um, with our constant ev evolution to 21st century learning, you really get to see um, kids showcase their stuff, um, seeing the best of all worlds, project-based learning, critical thinking, um, just the combination of academics and vocation coming together, just seeing the talent in the room, it, it really gives a lot of hope. We get the benefit of seeing showcase events at our school committee meetings, so we get a taste um, every, every school committee meeting for what people are doing. Uh, this allows the public to just see what their kids are doing, how they're being educated, and you know what they talk about on a daily basis now. You, you can see the, the fruits of the labor, you know, the robotics group. I just got myself uh, fingerprinted by the forensics group, got a, an explanation of how it all works. I'm just really impressed with the knowledge that these students have um, and the confidence they have to be able to go in front of large crowds like this and just constantly tell folks what they're doing, what they're about. It's, it's just a great showcase. I think it's an important event. It brings the whole community together, gives us a chance to be able to do something of this magnitude that we don't typically do. And the students love it. They walk away with an experience, and the families love it and rave about it and are happy we did it again this year. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website at AACS.com, by downloading the AACS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the AACS Roku channel. For WACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.